Hey, what's going on everybody? Hey, so like I've always said, you ask a question in the comment bar and I will answer you. And uh, just happens to be today, the answer is actually gonna be a video on the answer to the question. Um, so the answer was, how did I make my light bar for the front of my four wheeler? And uh, so here it is, me, I'm a cheap guy. If I can do it myself, I would rather do it myself, save the money from having to pay for a factory part or somebody else that's made this thing and had it on the market. Because as you all know, they're expensive. So I made this little light bar um, to hold my 12 inch ox beam LED light. So here's how I did it on a budget. All right, guys, hopefully you can see this really well. But this thing is just inch and a quarter angle. That's it. Um, I measured it roughly 14 inches. Um, I might have went a little over. I, I, I'm not going to lie to you guys because what I did here on the ends is I rounded that over. Um, I'm pretty sure that it was... 14 because what I did is with this being get this back up here inch and a quarter I cut back you know a little ways off that I just I just cut a notch in here and just hammered that over you know I found a good good angle the angle I used is the angle coming off this four-wheeler right here so you can see when this curves around it looks like it just follows that body line. Um, you don't have to do that. That was just me. You can make this thing whatever width you want. Doesn't matter. You know, but to me, that's what I did. So I, I'm pretty sure that I stayed, you know, right now I'm at, at 14 inches. So I couldn't have been that far off to bend that around to make that angle. Um, the bar, this is quarter inch solid stock you know it is cheap you can get it i think all this i got it like a farm and home store um as you can see i just kind of i just found a good angle what worked for me you know to weld this thing up you know and uh you know coming across the back side of that it, it's nothing fancy you know i welded the other one right to the piece of metal going into the four-wheeler and uh but you know this thing is it, it it's solid guys it's you know i've hit tons of things with it you know so it's not i mean yeah don't get me wrong you'll smack a tree with it running 20 miles an hour you're gonna feel it but and uh i got my helper in here today though luke what do you think of luke Luke's, Luke's a new addition to our family. He's a, a miniature Australian shepherd, but I'm pretty sure there's a lot of turd hound in him because he is he's a turd, but he's a good dog. All right, so back to this, guys. This piece here is three quarter inch square tubing. It is two and a half inches long, and it has got a three inch quarter 20 hex bolt in there and why that is is that on the front of this machine there are two torx bolts that are quarter 20 that go in this this hole this hole is square and it measures out about three quarters of an inch inside of there perfect so what i did before i welded these two pieces together is i put the bolt in a washer in this tube because as you can see you can barely fit your hand up in here that's about five eighths of an inch from the leading edge of this to where i put that the reason i did it if you got a better way you go for it guys that's what this is all about you know this is just the way i did it because it's just it's just a clean look for me yeah it was it was kind of a bite getting that up in there 
but it wasn't bad it wasn't terrible but as you can see it just a nice clean look and uh you know the only other thing i could have i mean that was the only way i could think of to where you could remove this you know so there's no way to go behind this tube and come in from the back side so it was just easier that way okay so like i said you can just pick this all this stuff up at the farm stores um i just happen to have it laying around the shop so that's what i used so anyway guys you know i hope this kind of helps you out a little bit you know but like i said if you you had a bigger light you can kind of see you know how much room i've got you know between here you know i mean it's well I'll, I'll show you you know right now i probably got one inch of clearance between the frame and my light so you know if you have a longer led light you could put it across there you know me <clears throat> with the 12 inch it just fits you know the, the front of this pretty seamlessly it's not you know hanging out over here too far you know but you could go bigger it's all what you want guys it's what it's all about make your own projects you know um like i said if this doesn't really work for you add to it you're not going to hurt my feelings any i mean i just kind of came up with this little idea really fast one night while i was out here and i had this light so uh you know hey prove me wrong do something better than what i did if you can um you know i i'm not ashamed of it and it's you're not going to hurt my feelings if you improve on what i did it's not what i'm here for i'm just here to kind of show you guys what i did kind of the platform i used add to it have fun make your own you know that's what it's all about so if this helped you out i'm i'm happy if it didn't you know like i said improve on it um, if you have any more questions about it get back with me i'm i'm here to answer them for you guys I'm just a do-it-yourselfer like everybody else. And uh, I like doing things on a budget. So if you liked the video, give me the big thumbs up and subscribe. And you guys have a blessed week.